Leonard Coldwell, and Dr. Coldwell is a uh, you know radio and TV personality. He's um, he cured his own or re helped reverse his own mother from hepatitis C, liver cirrhosis, cancer, and liver cancer over 42 years ago, and he quickly became the leading authority for natural cancer reversals and and so forth and stress related illnesses. He's the author of 19 best selling books. His work is phenomenal. I found I first found out about you. Dr. C on YouTube and I saw this video about you talking about you know how raw foods and so forth is and living foods is you know basically one of the most important things to do if you want to reverse disease in your body and right away I go oh my god I gotta find out more about this guy and so I started, started checking out your websites and watching your videos and getting to know more about you and, and the beautiful thing is I, I connected with you I think through Facebook and right away he, he responded to me and it was like this this connection, it was kind of like a brotherly connection, is that right? Yeah. It was like, you know, I just appreciate the work you're doing in the world. And um, looks like we just lost him here on the webcast, but he basically talks about in his chapter how every cancer can be reversed in weeks. And he shares his story mm -hmm. about how he, he first started on the journey of healing his own mother with natural herbs. And as a nat young man. As young. a very young man, Twelve yeah. Or something. She first got the cancer. Anyway. Something, yeah. Huh? yeah. It's, it's, uh, yeah. He was very young, and and he, you know, went out and found out that you know you can kill your body naturally if you give it the right nutrients and supplements. And then from there, he embarked on the journey of wanting to help other people heal themselves as well. And he's gone through his his story is amazing in the book. You read it, and it's, it's really like, incredible. oh my god, what yeah. he's gone through. Can you guys, his, guys, hear me now? He's back. Yes, yes we can hear you. <laughs> Talking about the story, your your life story that you share in the book, Twenty Seven Flavors of Fulfillment, how how intriguing and dynamic it is, and how amazing it is that you helped your own mother and now have helped many people around the world. Nathan, the most important thing is when people understand that my mom had hepatitis C, liver cirrhosis, and terminal liver cancer, forty two years ago, with a prognosis of six months to live. And when people understand that my mom is still alive today and one hundred percent healthy. <laughs> and all seven siblings of my mom had cancer. My grandmother and grandfather on both sides had cancer. So basically what uh, I grew up with, my father died of cancer. My stepfather even died of cancer. Mm. I knew more about cancer with the age of 16 than any other living human being will ever know about the effects of cancer on the patient and most of all the loved ones of the cancer patients. Mm. The, in my clinics and hospitals, very often when I stepped into the waiting room, I couldn't even tell who was a cancer patient and who were the loved ones because very often the loved ones are so worried and scared that they look worse than the cancer patient, him or herself. And that is when I started to understand that cancer is much more complex and the diagnosis and prognosis of cancer is much more complex than people really think because they never really include the loved ones, the family members, the children, the grandchildren, the, the parents, the spouse. And this is something that's really, really important because the cancer patient needs to be surrounded by positivity, by people that give them strength and energy and that are positive and hopeful. And most of all, Nathan, let me say, there's no such thing as false hope. If somebody is sick and somebody is in pain, in chronic pain, somebody is afraid of dying, then it is most important that that person has hope. Hope to get better, hope to get well, hope to get less pain, hope to get cured. There is no such thing as false hope because the quality of life goes up in every patient if they have hope, if they at least believe in the possibility to get better. And in my personal opinion and experience, Nearly every cancer can be cured within, six, within 2 to 16 weeks. And that is just a fact. I have proven it in 35,000 cancer patients. And we have hundreds of thousands of people writing me just using my information of the instinct-based medicine system to cure themselves from multiple sclerosis, cancer, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and so on. And that is very important that people understand every disease, every illness, every condition is curable. It, not every person is curable. 
because not everybody is ready and willing to do whatever it takes. Many people don't want to change the elements in their lives that they know they should change. Mm. Let's, we know that 86% of all doctor visits and illnesses and conditions are based or related to stress. 86% of all doctor visits and conditions, health conditions, are stress-related. That leaves only 14% for diet, exercise, and so on. People need to understand that. Most deadly heart attacks happen Monday morning between 8 and 9 o'clock when people get ready for a work week that they cannot handle any longer. The boss that literally kills them, or the mobbing, or the colleagues, they literally rather die before they go one more time, one more week, to that job. Mm. So this is what I was was just going to ask you, you know, so what have you found that, uh, you know, obviously stress is the leading cause, one of the leading causes of of death and of obviously an an unfulfilling life and in a life without meaning, but also we know that it impacts our physical health as well. But why do you think people are so stressful? You, You already answered that. To one degree, you know, going to a job that maybe they they just can't handle anymore. But what other cases have you seen that people are really, you know, dealing with stressful situations? Something keeps on cutting me off. Are you guys hearing me? Yes. Yeah, can hear you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is really weird. <laughs> so what was your question, Nathan? I did not understand it. The question okay. was, what are, what are other um, instances of stress that you been seeing in people's lives? The most important part is everybody needs to understand that every illness and condition is based on lack of energy. Lack of energy is the only cause for illness, disease, and early death or aging. And people think stress is if the kids are crying at home. That is not stress. That is regular daily stress that that we survive and, and recover from after one good night's sleep. But here is the stress I'm talking about, mental and emotional stress. Living in constant worries, doubts, and fears. Fears of the economy, fears of there might not be enough money for the future. There might not be even a future. Worries, constant worries. But the main cause of cancer is making a compromise against yourself. The main cause of cancer is hanging on to a relationship that you know it's wrong and that's killing you in the whole meaning of the word. Mm -hmm. People need to understand when you make a compromise against yourself, you deny yourself life. You deny yourself to be you. You deny yourself to be happy. You deny yourself to be healthy. This is why so many elements in in our life lead to self-destruction or self-sabotage. Because very often, and there is, uh, there is great research out there, that many cancer patients, 18 to 26 months before they were diagnosed with cancer, they had the, an, an, a life-threatening, existence-threatening element in their life. That means that uh, a child died, or they got divorced, or they lost their job, or their house got foreclosed on. And these elements are major parts of self-destructive tendencies. So it is very, very important that people love themselves and live their lives the way they're supposed to. That's why my system is called Instinct-Based Medicine System. The Berlin Health Institute stated after a huge study conducted that I have a cancer cure rate of 92.3%. Wow. The medical profession, so Dr. Tutu Simoncini, oncologist himself, has a cancer cure rate of 2%. Hmm. I found out that 27% of all people that do absolutely nothing recover from cancer and are completely cured and stay completely cured. Wow. That means that the medical profession is even killing the 25% that would recover on their own. And the last couple of years, maybe 15, 20 years. Nearly nobody died of cancer anymore. They all died of the side effects of the treatment, chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery. Mm -hmm. Chemotherapy causes cancer and kills you, and it's based on mustard gas. Mm -hmm. Mustard gas was invented to kill soldiers 
in the First and Second World War on the battlefield. What is it called? The mustard gas. Ma mustard gas. That's what Saddam Hussein used uh, to kill the Turkish people in his, in his country. And that's what chemotherapy is? Yeah, it's based on that, yeah. That's what, it's kind of like you use orange, uh, Agent Orange to get rid of the weeds in your backyard. Right. Well, and, and, I, and I can see it right now in, in my own grandfather. He's literally down to his last breaths, and it's been you know, really difficult because he's, he's you know, been being treated by traditional uh, Western medicine. And, and a year and a half ago when he found out he had cancer, um, he, wasn't, he, he wasn't feeling that great, but he wasn't on his deathbed. Right. A year and a half later of chemotherapy treatments, he's, he looks like he's gone. He, now he can't even talk or move out of the bed. And so you know, the poison was making him sicker. And we talked, Dr. Um, Robert Young talked about this this morning as well. Um, but we have Lisa Wilson here joining us from the Raw Food Institute. And uh, the reason it's, it's wonderful that your chapters go back to back, Dr. Coldwell's chapter on page <laughs> nine. Hey, Lisa. Hi, how are you? <laughs> good, good, good. You look great. Thank you. I, I, it's such an honor to meet you. I, I have probably given away about a million copies of your book, I think. <laughs> okay, I like that. Thank you so much for your support. <laughs> You're so you see the flow of the chapters of the book. There, there's definitely a flow. So from, you know, Lisa Wilson also has been doing some incredible work in the world through the Raptor Institute in helping people also reverse diseases through, uh, you know, a natural-based approach, uh, a whole foods diet type of approach. And her chapter in the book is Living an Extraordinary Life customizing your blueprint but just want to um, it might be fun here to kind of uh, dialogue with all of us here because you two together are doing amazing things in the world for really you know helping people get a higher level of health so Lisa how have you found that uh, people have been getting better and also before we get into that let's talk about living extraordinary life customizing your blueprint that's what your chapter is about in uh, 27 flavors of fulfillment so yeah. what, you know, what does that mean, customizing your blueprint? You know, I found that when I was working with people, the most important thing was the mind. And, you know, people have to really decide to become healthy. And that's, that's, that's the first and foremost thing. I found that was even bigger than the food. Um, I found it was more important than the kale and the Brussels sprouts and the broccoli and the wheatgrass. Um, I can tell right away when I'm working with somebody if this person is is motivated to do whatever it takes or if like Dr. Coldwell says if they're really coming from a place of fear. So rewriting that blueprint and and um, you know if we have come from families where we react to things with fear or with anger we have really created great neurological pathways and we're really good at that so we have to become really good at reacting to things in a different way, looking for the good, looking for the outcome, and understanding that everything that comes into our life is here for a purpose, for a lesson, and looking for that outcome. Mm. Amazing. Yes, all the, the threads are very similar and synchronous, because uh, Dr. Caldwell was talking about no faith is a false, no hope is a false hope. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of the same energy there. Right. And most of most of all, if I if I may say something to that, uh, it, what is so stunning is that the two of us really uh, accommodating each other. Because if you don't feel well about yourself, about your body, if you are um, what the building blocks for your body, your food, mm -hmm. is something that clogs you, that gives you acidosis and toxemia, yeah. you cannot be positive because you're always tired, you're worn out. You feel bad about yourself. You feel bad in your own skin. Yeah. And that is what's so fantastic, what I'm seeing with you, your positivity. I think I, I feel just better just looking at you and hearing you speak. <laughs> <laughs> and I yeah. think that, that is the most important part for, for dealing with people, helping people, is our own attitude towards them and towards life. You're doing a great yeah. job. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I, I completely agree. So, yeah. And Lisa was one of our keynote speakers at the Raw Living Expo in February in Sedona. Here oh, great. Yeah, that was wonderful. We'll have to invite you, Dr. Coldwell. I'm not sure if you'd be able to make it, but we'd love to have you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, time is the only problem in my life. But I, I, I will try. I mean, whatever I can do to support you guys. Most of all, I have to congratulate you to pull this off. I mean, that was, I, I saw you 
fighting and struggling and fighting and fighting and keep on hanging in and really using what, what most people are just talking about. You know, you get up one more time and life throws you down and that's how you create success and that's how you be a champion and you guys are proven champions. I mean, it's exciting and really congratulations to, to this realizing the realization of this fantastic project. Uh, thank you. Thank you. And thank you so much for being a pioneer in the world. I mean, you've been doing work for many, many years and leading, uh, leading the way for all of us to come in and say, okay, yeah, you know, now here's the support. Now here's the community. You know, this, the book, 27 Flavors of Fulfillment, is a perfect example of collaboration, of this new or revived consciousness of all of us working together mm -hmm. to actually um, conjointly co-create, uh, you know, something better for ourselves, something better for the planet. And you can see when we work together, and we're not fighting against each other, or fighting against something, or or fighting the war on this, or fighting the war on that. It's about hey, let's work together. You know, let's work with the medical. Uh, association instead of fighting against them. Let's work with, let's show them that they don't have to fear about losing their jobs because, you know, the people are waking up to the realization that, you know, all the food all can, the food can <laughs> cure your body, reverse diseases, um, but that, you know, they can transfer over and still continue to help people and live a more fulfilling life. So, absolutely. Well, yes. the, the most important thing is we need to build and not fight. You know, yeah. That, that is important. And look at Lisa and look at the people you got together. I'm feeling so many people wrote me, the co-authors of this wonderful book wrote me and it's like a family. It's not like we are just a couple of people that, that wrote something for a book. I, I feel like we are a family and we are building something here and hope in the future for everybody. And look, look at Lisa, how positive this human being is. And, uh, <laughs> you, know, you know, if... if, if uh, you know, inner beauty always shines through the body towards the outside. And look at Lisa. I think she's a role model for all of us. And uh, I think it's fantastic that, Nathan, that you got us together. I mean, oh, all of us. Yeah, well, well thank you for, for coming together and making this possible and sharing. You know, what I've mentioned from the beginning of today's webcast is that, you know, my, what I found out, my role in life, the thing that gives me meaning and, and purpose and what I'm here to do for this moment is that to, to find master teachers like yourselves and help take your message out to the world so that the rest of the world can get access to this incredible information. You know, like we talked about, uh, your chapters in the book is thousands of years of experience mm -hmm. and, and life knowledge and wisdom. And so it's not just a book, it's, it's really a manual for life. And, and um, you know, Lisa, the work you're doing in the world is, is wonderful. And I want to ask both of you here, before we um, bring on Ernest Chu, is, you know, what is it, in your opinion, that um, you have found to, to really make your life fulfilled? What is it that makes your heart sing? And, and how does that, you know, how have you found that you can live life to the fullest? Lisa, do you want to start? Sure, I'll start. Um, you know, for me, the study of, it started with the study of plants. I mean, if you look beside my bed, I have stacks and stacks and stacks of books, and I wanted to know every aspect of every plant and, and every healing property and every, uh, you know, every nutrient and every plant and what it can do. And, and it, it honestly took me seven years to realize that the mind was more important than the plants. But the reason that I get so excited with plants, and I'll, I'll see this all the time, people will start, you know, I'll bring them into our retreats, our seven-day retreats, and they'll be three, four days into it, five days into it, and people will just stop in their tracks and go, is this for real? Meaning, how can I have felt so lousy for so many decades and feel so good in four days? Right. And not only that, but by the end of the week, you know, we do these healing circles and people are breaking down emotionally as they're detoxifying emotionally, as they're realizing that they have a purpose bigger than them. And by the end of a seven-day period of time, people are reconnecting with their inner self. They're reconnecting with the people next to them. They're reconnecting with their friends and family. And that gets me excited. When people get turned on to their highest purpose, whether it's writing a book or, you know, like Laura being the organizer of the raw festivals and watching people shine in their light, that 
gets that's why I'm here I'm supposed to be here not to teach people about the broccoli I do that but to turn people on to their highest purpose that's that's what gets me going I think we have a I think we have a contingent a little soul tribe of 27 of us who that's <laughs> what we're really doing that's our job and we love doing it yeah satisfying yeah <laughs> okay what gets me excited is the shining in the eyes of people that have hope again. When a patient comes back and says, I just got an x-ray, I'm cancer free. I just, got a I just got a test done and I'm healthy, I'm cured, I'm fine, I feel good, I did it. When I get my emails that people send me and, 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 and just telling me how much my books changed their lives and how much my seminars changed their lives or my free videos that are all over YouTube, some of them have 17 million views. That makes me excited that people are now open. When I started out with this 40 years ago, nobody was talking about all of this. My very first book, Mama, Please Don't Die, was written 38 years ago and is still in a best-selling list in Europe today. Wow. And that makes me excited when people say, I read your mom's life story. I read your mom's foreword that she had hepatitis C, liver cirrhosis, and terminal liver cancer, and completely conquered it. If I can give people hope and I see what I do works, that makes me excited. But the shining in the eyes of human beings that have hope again, that lost the pain, that lost the fear of dying, and that are, that are active, alive again. Because my entire secret of life is listen to your instincts for me I believe our instincts is God talking to us and listen to your instincts and use common sense again that's what my grandmother did my grandmother was was an emergency nurse during the third uh, second world war and she said the most important part is that you're positive that you're congruent and you always expect the best outcome yeah you cannot have always the best outcome but there's always hope there's always a possibility to get better. And even if it's a little bit, but I believe everything is curable and I believe there's hope for everybody. And that makes me excited to be a part of, like, like with, with you guys, with a group like this, you need to understand, I was out there 38 years ago when they all said, everything you write is stupid, you're an absolute idiot. I had all these cancer patients that I've proven they cured. My mom was cured from hepatitis C, liver cirrhosis, and liver cancer, 100% healthy. The blood levels, 100% perfect. And they said, what I say is not right. <laughs> how, can, how can that be? You know, you produce the results, and you will recognize them on their fruits. I don't like when people just talk about what they hypothetically could do or should do. What I like is people producing results. Uh, lo look at Lisa. Look at how the, the way she looks. She lives the way she talks. And that comes across. Mm -hmm. She is positive and strong and beautiful from the inside out. That's what we all need to be. And me, what excites me, what keeps me going is seeing all of you guys coming up now. The last 10, 15 years, more and more of you guys came to the rescue of humanity. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, four mm -hmm. years ago, I and a lot of friends and colleagues found a huge change, a huge shift in human consciousness. All of a sudden, two, three, four years ago, people started to ask questions, wanted to have help to self-help, wanted to have information. And that's where we come in. All we are as healers are teachers. We are coaches and we are best friends. And I think that's what we all need more and more. And I am what really makes me excited seeing this book, seeing all these great authors, seeing all of you guys coming together and standing up for what you believe in. And the most important part now, now there is really hope for me too, because now I know I'm not alone any longer. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for that. That's very inspiring. I, like, I, I almost want to get up and do some jumping jacks or something. <laughs> <laughs> really inspiring. There's always time for that, you know. Let's <laughs> jump up and down, make us laugh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're saying how beautiful Lisa is from the inside out, but just looking at your face, you're exuding a playful, joyful, uh, little child, perfect happiness, and it's, a, it's beautiful to see. <laughs> Thank you so much. Life is good. Yes. You know, life is what we make out of it. 
<laughs> it is fantastic. Again, guys, let me thank you so much, Lisa and the, you, the two of you. It, it was really fantastic being on with you guys, but you guys pulled it off. I mean, you did the work. We just wrote down what we, what we take or talk all day long and teach all day long anyway. So, but, but you guys pulled it off. And Nathan, thank you so much for making me a part of this great project and keep up the great work. And I'm very, very proud of being a part of this wonderful community. Mm, my pleasure. And I'm sure we'll be doing a, a lot of other wonderful things in the future. So I'm, I'm, I'm sh absolutely sure about that. I'm just here to help support uh, what you guys are doing. And Lisa, thank you for joining us. I wish we had more time today. You're welcome. Um, I, I woke up this morning and realized that um, I think what we're doing today has, may have never been pulled off before an entire day from uh, 8, basically I started at 8 a.m. until about 7 p.m. tonight of over 22 live video interviews is, um, I think that's a feat all in itself that we're, you know, all able to come together and, and do this. So thank you all. And next up, um, uh, we have uh, Ernest Chu coming up. So uh, Lisa's uh, chapter again in the book is Living an Extraordinary Life, Customizing Your Blueprint on page 117. And Dr. Coldwell's chapter is Every Cancer Can Be Reversed in Weeks, page 109, and both have incredible life stories and principles that you can start applying in your life right now and, and start seeing some, some drastic results, some positive and impactful results. So yeah. thank you both so much. Thank you, guys. Have a wonderful day. And again, thank you. Great meeting you, Lisa. Nice to meet you, too. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Oh, it's a